Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It has been a spell since I've last uploaded a video, had to have been a couple months ago, but for good reason. The last few weeks uh, have been tensely being spent preparing for my PhD defense, which was held just a couple of days ago. And, you know, going into this PhD defense, a lot of thoughts go through your head, like if you've done enough, have you completed uh, very adequate studies for your work? Can you explain your work well? Just a lot of things that go through your head that make you question whether or not you're actually ready to present your work in front of your academic committee. Now, I did make a video uh, sometime in the past describing my experience as a PhD uh, candidate, uh, having just passed my PhD comprehensive exam, and some of the apprehensions I had going forward with my research direction. And luckily, I was able to do enough to uh, write a coherent thesis and have a really nice story to tell. Essentially, being able to present that work in front of my academic committee and uh, get judged on the quality of that content. Great news, I ended up passing my PhD defense over Zoom and I am almost officially a doctor in material science and engineering. And this is just a, a surreal experience because I never imagined myself getting to this stage of education, um, n not even just like getting this far in life without the support of my family, my friends, my mentors, and just a bunch of people in general. And in this video, I just want to uh, just share some of my thoughts about going into the defense, the things I had to prepare for to get ready uh, for that day, and also some of the things that happened during the defense and afterwards. But before I continue, please drop a like for this video for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel for more grad school and material science content. So a PhD dissertation defense is essentially the culmination of a PhD student's work during their time in grad school. It is where they present their final results or findings in front of an academic committee and defend their work, essentially. So, uh, assert that this is uh, fundamentally new knowledge or a new process or uh, a new understanding of some existing work. And the academic committee essentially assesses the students' work, their contributions, and determines whether or not they have undergone the necessary qualifications uh, to receive a doctorate in their field of study. In many cases, different schools have different procedures when uh, conferring doctorates, but um, in almost every single case, you have to present uh, your work in the PhD defense, which can be held publicly or privately. In some other countries, they call these uh, a PhD viva, uh, but in the US, it's just a PhD defense. And during this, uh, what uh, we would consider an oral exam, uh, the student uh, or the candidate uh, presents their work in a presentation, sometimes um, half an hour, sometimes up to an hour. Afterwards, moves on to a private session where meet only with the academic committee, where they ask questions to the candidate and assess the quality of their work. So much of the presentation is public, and in this case, because it was Zoom, uh, I had the opportunity to invite many of my friends, my family, some former teachers and mentors uh, onto this call to support me in my big day. Leading up to the defense, I worked on my dissertation document, which is essentially a formal report on all of my research findings uh, organized into chapters and essentially serves as uh, a culminating uh, body of work uh, that represents years of research. This is what I'd spent the last few months working on, essentially typing up chapter after chapter, uh, outlining my dissertation to figure out how I'm supposed to describe my research and what sort of coherent story I could tell from it. This was a good opportunity for me to do some self-reflection and look at exactly how my research fits into the overall field, what gaps am I addressing uh, in terms of knowledge gaps, and uh, what contributions I've made that are meaningful uh, for uh, advancing this field in general. Obviously, that is a very difficult thing to do, especially in 
the span of a few months where you're trying to organize everything and write while also conducting experiments and doing other sorts of grad school activities as well. My dissertation ended up coming out to be a little over 100 pages, which is pretty typical for dissertations. Some can be far longer. I've known people that have had 150 to 200 to 300 page dissertations and some that have uh, very short dissertations closer to 60 to 80 pages. But again, it's not really the length of the dissertation or the number of papers you've published or the number of conferences you've gone to. It's all about really convincing your committee that what you've done in grad school is something that is noteworthy and could be potentially developed or pushed further by other students in the future. Because of this whole crazy pandemic that we have, a lot of our defenses are still held in Zoom, so mine actually ended up being held in Zoom. It was a good opportunity for me uh, to present my work to a large audience there, but also take advantage of the fact that since I've been making YouTube videos for a little while, uh, it made it a lot easier to speak in front of a camera and just present my work there. It got rid of a lot of the stage fright that I would normally get when presenting in front of people. But I, I was um, calm about my uh, defense because I'd spent a lot of time preparing my slide deck for it, uh, probably six months uh, of incremental changes throughout, um, throughout that time. Also had a few key presentations before my defense that helped me outline uh, the directions of my work. So that really helped me um, get rid of some of that nerve or anxiety and really just instill a, a larger sense of confidence that I'm the expert in the room, I know the most about my work, and I shouldn't be too worried about how it's going to look when I present it because this is my work. That certainly made me feel a bit better about it and also uh, more prideful about it as well. I also feel like going into the defense, uh, I was okay, but then I think the hour before I was just getting really nervous. I was trying to do some breathing exercises because typically when I talk fast or I don't know what to say, I start running out of breath and then I start jumbling and uh, you know how it is. I'm, I'm sure like those of you who give presentations uh, will very much say that it takes so much practice and even then it still feels like you need practice. But overall, I think the events went very well. I had a very broad audience, so I kept everything um, hopefully high level enough where people can understand. But the technical information obviously is something that um, I had to also convey. Uh, overall, I think my committee felt very good about it. One of my co-advisors had mentioned that this was uh, certainly one of the better presentations he's seen, which made me feel really good about myself and how that I, all the time I've spent uh, preparing this and giving the talk and practicing uh, certainly made it worth it. When I moved to my private session, the committee actually didn't ask me any questions, which is very surprising. Not that I'm complaining, but it was just, uh, I was just kind of floored because I, I was sort of mentally preparing myself for at least 30 minutes of questioning on, especially on certain slides I thought that were a little ambiguous or maybe needed additional clarification. But I guess uh, they, they felt that the presentation was contained enough, the scope was narrow enough, and I explained myself very well on all of, them, uh, all of the related research topics. So I think that definitely helped in terms of uh, getting approval from the committee. Uh, they all agreed to sign my form, and uh, right now I'm just awaiting for a graduate college to um, input some addition, uh, additional revisions that I have to add onto my document, uh, and then hopefully later this summer end up getting the official degree announcement posted on my student account. It's, it's been a very long journey. I know I've spent four years on this PhD program, but I've spent six years in grad school and basically 11 years in college. It's been a very long time coming and I am very grateful for the opportunity to have worked on what I did, to have contributed to my field, and to really um, grow so much as a professional and uh, just as an individual. Later on, I'll be posting my, a copy of my defense presentation onto this channel, so be on the lookout for that and hopefully you decide to tune in. Again, I want to express my 
uh, my deep gratitude to everyone that's helped me get to this point. Could not have done it without you. And really, I just wanted to say thank you so much for the great opportunity to um, contribute to science because uh, I, I think that if we can do anything in this world, it's to um, do something that can leave a lasting impact and uh, hopefully help other people along the way. So with that, thanks for watching this video. Hopefully I get my degree soon and provide additional updates as to what's going to happen next. Really, I'm just, I'm just grateful. I, I feel like uh, this has been kind of a crazy week and I've had an outpouring of support and I just, uh, I feel very content. So thanks for tuning in and remember to keep calm and exton.